Hello humans, welcome to this new video. Actually, it will be a theory, for instance, and it will be about Angular and with our best friend PrestaShop. So, what is the deal here? I will be using PrestaShop as a backend. So, there will be uh, all the stuff uh, for product, uh, catalogs, cart, etc. And we will create um, there. Probably, it won't be a typically exact as the PrestaShop for the front end, but it will be training to use the web services from PrestaShop and uh, consume them on into this Angular app. So the very first things to do in this project is to enable the web service option on PrestaShop. To do that, you need to be logged onto the administration panel, then navigate to administration or advanced parameters, then web services, and you will be landed into this page. So I'm gonna just make it a little bit bigger. All right, now then, <coughs> sorry, then we need to create a new web service key. So for instance, this will be, this won't be existing there. So, and also this option will be set to no. You need to set this option to yes. Click there, yes, oh, save. Then we need to add a new key and let's do it. In this page, we will configure our key and the related action to it. So here we have to set the key, whether you can type it manually, if you know a uh, 32 character that you can remember. So it must be a 32 or more character, but also you can click on generate and uh, PrestaShop will do the stuff for you. Right here we can set some custom text or description. So it will be like uh, Angular uh, key web service. All right, then this stays to set it to yes and here are the permissions so let's suppose the front end uh, generally it will be about products cards and uh, offers etc et so we won't be need to display like uh, employers or uh, cards history or the payments etc so you need to select exactly um, let's say the resources the part of resources that will be consumed to the front and by checking the specific ones so for instance i will check categories and right here you do see that we have the type of requesters get put post etc then uh, let's uh, let's make it simple for instance i will work simply with categories and scroll all the way down and hit save okay it take a little while to activate that the new with 1.7 that it do the work for us so in the previous version if i do remember the, since the 1.7 and uh, before you need to update uh, the htaccess file to and to to make things run properly but presa shop 1.612 and above i think from that version everything is done automatically so as we do see here the key is active with uh, the description that we set and uh, now it's time to test if everything is okay so for instance it's uh, working already for me because i'm using this key so how to connect to it? It's very simple. Let me open it onto uh, a private and it will prompt uh, a username and a password. And for instance, very simple. Let's pick this key as a username and the password. There is no password. Hit login and it give you, all right. It give you uh, the exact selection that we did. So we do see here that we have categories and we see that we have a description. So uh, if I do, uh, yeah, description, this is it, the text, the product categories, and we schema link. And if I copy, for instance, this little link and open it into a new tab, I will have the existing categories listing. And same, if I copy this link and open it into new tab, I will have details about that exact category. So that was your very first step with Angular and PrestaShop at the same box.